Mr. Tesla, you made many amazing discoveries but some people still regard you as eccentric and introvert. From childhood, I was compelled to concentrate attention upon myself. This caused me much suffering, but to my present view, it was a blessing in disguise, for it has taught me to appreciate the inestimable value of introspection. Some of your inventions are understood and implemented only now. It seems that I have always been ahead of my time. You are known as someone who never stops working. I am credited with being one of the hardest workers, and perhaps I am, if thought is the equivalent of labor, for I have devoted to it almost all of my waking hours. But if work is interpreted to be a definite performance, in a specific time according to a rigid rule, then I may be the worst of idlers. Also, I had a veritable mania for finishing whatever I began. Do you have any leisure time? Too much leisure and civilization will go to pot. Also, man was born to work, suffer and struggle, and if he doesn't, he'll go under. What was the job you hated the most? By an irony of fate, my first employment was a draftsman. I hated drawing. It was for me the very worst of annoyances. What influenced your life the most? As I review the events of my past life, I realize how subtle are the influences that shape our destinies. Who was your ideal? Archimedes was my ideal. How do you see the progress of mankind? We build, but to tear down. Most of our work and resource is squandered. Our onward march is marked by devastation. Everywhere there is an appalling loss of time, effort and life. Also, the progress and development of man are of immeasurable importance for humanity and are essentially dependent on invention. What did you like the most? Of all things, I liked the books the best. Is it really true to say that the more we know, the more ignorant we become? It is paradoxical, yet true, to say that the more we know, the more ignorant we become in the absolute sense, for it is only through enlightenment that we become conscious of our limitations. How about instinct? Instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have undoubtedly certain finer fibers that enable us to perceive truths when logical deduction or any other willful effort of the brain is futile. You speak at least eight languages. How did you manage to learn so many? I learned a dozen languages, studied literature and art, spent my best years in libraries reading everything that came my way, and though I sometimes felt I was losing time, I quickly realized it was the best thing I ever did. How does it feel to come up with an invention? I do not think there is any thrill that can go through the human heart like that felt by the inventor as he sees some creation of the brain unfolding to success. Such emotions make a man forget food, sleep, friends, love, everything. Also, invention is the most important product of man's creative brain. What is your message to today's scientists? The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly but one can think deeply and be quite insane. Also, today's scientists have substituting mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation after equation and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. What do you think about Thomas Edison? I was amazed at this man who, without thorough education or scientific experience, did so much. If he had a needle to find in a haystack, he would not stop to reason where it was most likely to be. 
but would proceed at once with the feverish diligence of a bee to examine straw after straw until he found the object of his search. Just a little theory and calculation would have saved him 90% of his labor. You have a unique view towards crystals. Why? Crystals are living beings at the beginning of creation. What should we do if we want to achieve some big goal? Do not strike at what you are looking, but at what you intend to hit. Also, when natural inclination develops into a passionate desire, one advances towards his goal in seven league boots. Do you believe in existence of extraterrestrial life? Most certainly. Some planets are not inhabited, but others are, and among these there must exist life under all conditions and phases of development. Also, the day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all of the previous centuries of its existence. Why are you a devoted vegetarian? There is no doubt that some plant food such as oatmeal is more economical than meat and superior to it in regard to both mechanical and mental performance. Such food, moreover, taxes our digestive organs decidedly less and in making us more contented and sociable, produces an amount of good difficult to estimate. Why are you so obsessed with frequency? All things have a frequency and a vibration. Do you think you are given enough respect as you deserve? Let the future tell the truth and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs. The future for which I really worked is mine. Also, a new idea must not be judged by its immediate result. What is the history of science teaching us? All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed, only to merge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. In your opinion, what will the 21st century bring to us? Today the most civilized countries of the world spend a maximum of their income on war and a minimum on education. The 21st century will reverse this order. Still, you may live to see man-made horrors beyond your comprehension. What is God for you? What one man calls God, another calls the laws of physics. What can we do about so much hate around us? If our hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. Why you never got married? I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. What do you think about women? It is not in the shell of physical imitation of men that women will assert first their equality and later their superiority, but in the awakening of the intellect of women. Why do you like so much being alone? The mind is sharper and keener in seclusion and uninterrupted solitude. No big laboratory is needed in which to think. Originality thrives in seclusion, free of outside influences beating upon us to cripple the creative mind. Do you like music? I am part of light, and it is the music. Particles of light are written notes. A bolt of lightning can be an entire sonata. A thousand balls of lightning is a concert. Seems like that all your life you were obsessed with nature. If you don't know how, observe the phenomena of nature, they will give you clear answers and inspiration. Also, with every new truth that is revealed, we get a better understanding of nature and our conceptions and views are modified. How can we reach the world peace? Peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment and merging of races, and we are still far from this blissful realization. How do you see the new world? A new world must be born, a world that will justify the sacrifices offered by humanity. This new world must be a world in which there shall be no exploitation of the weak by the strong, of the good by the evil, where there will be no humiliation of the poor by the violence of the rich, where the products of intellect, science and art 
will serve society for the betterment and beautification of life, and not the individuals for achieving wealth. This new world shall not be a world of the downtrodden and humiliation, but the free men and free nations equal in dignity and respect. And for the end, what is your advice to all of us? A single thought may determine the motion of the universe. Nikola Tesla is considered one of the world's greatest inventors. An electrical and mechanical engineer, physicist, and futurist, he is best known for designing the modern alternating current, AC, electricity supply system. For many, he was regarded as a genius who lit up and electrified the world, a modern Prometheus, one of the greatest scientists in history. A true visionary whose inventions continue to live on. Tesla was born on July 10, 1856 in the village of Smileon, near Gospeach, a small town in the Austro-Hungarian Empire, to Malutin Tesla, a priest of the Serbian Orthodox Church, and his wife Georgina, Juka, Tesla, born Mandix, whose father was also a Serbian Orthodox priest. Tesla attended elementary school in Smileon, junior high school in Gospeach, and high school in Karlovac. The idea of making an AC motor, without commutators and brushes, first occurred to Tesla in 1877 during his second year at Graz's Polytechnic School while attending a lecture by Professor Poskel. Poskel gave a demonstration of a dynamo operating as a motor. Noticing sparks emitting from the dynamo, Tesla believed it would be possible to create a dynamo that didn't lose as much energy by using alternating current. Although laughed at for this ridiculous idea, Tesla obsessed on the notion that it could be done. Professor Poskel was aware of Tesla's genius and noted that Nikola's ability at mathematics is phenomenal. He knows the answers as quickly as the professor puts the problems on the board. He figures the answers out mentally and hardly ever writes the problem down. In 1880, Tesla went to Prague to study natural philosophy at Charles University. A year later, he started work as an electrician at a telephone company in Budapest. It was here that he came up with the idea for an induction motor. Traveling to Paris, he hoped to sell his idea to the Continental Edison Company, but they were not interested in alternating current. However, he persisted and in 1883 built his first induction motor. He decided to try his luck in America with Edison, hoping the climate would be more conducive to accepting AC. At age 28, Nikola Tesla arrived in New York City with four cents in his pocket, some mathematical computations, a drawing of an idea for a flying machine, and a letter of introduction from Charles Batchelor, one of Edison's business associates in Europe. At his first glimpse of New York, the Serbian immigrant was shocked by what he observed. What I left behind was beautiful, artistic and fascinating in every way, what I saw here was machined, rough and unattractive. It, America, is a century behind Europe in civilization. Edison sensed something special about Tesla and hired him immediately to make improvements in his DC generation plants. However, after Edison reneged on his offer of $50,000 for Tesla to solve a number of engineering problems for his company, claiming it was a joke, Tesla quit the company and reportedly dug ditches for a year. Eventually he formed the Tesla Electric Company and received an upfront payment plus royalties from Westinghouse when they agreed to license the technology for his AC induction motor. Tesla was a workaholic, often working 18-hour days. Even into old age, Tesla slept only two or three hours a night. He was known not only for his scientific and engineering accomplishments but also for his personal phobias, rituals, and beliefs. One of them was his obsession with numbers, in particular the numbers 3, 6 and 9. He used to say that, if you only knew the magnificence of the 3, 6 and 9, then you would have a key to the universe. With his inventions, Tesla possibly contributed more than any other scientist worldwide. He invented the alternating current used today, and the way light is harnessed and distributed. He used fluorescent bulbs in his lab 40 years before they were actually invented. It was Tesla who invented the radio, not Marconi, who in fact received a Nobel Prize for that invention. He demonstrated a teleautomaton device, a robotic boat controlled by radio waves. His invention of the induction motor was incredibly influential and is still used in industry and in household gadgets such as vacuums, fans, and power tools. Tesla held at least 308 patents from 27 countries on five continents. Most of them, 
116, were registered in the United States. 126 were basic patents for inventions registered for the first time, while the rest were equivalent patents, registering the same invention to protect them in different countries. Throughout his rich scientific career, Tesla discovered, designed and developed ideas for a number of important inventions, most of which were officially patented by other inventors. Tesla was a technical and visionary genius. He probed deeply into the secrets of nature, allowing us to benefit from his inventions. Nikola Tesla died alone on January 7, 1943, at the age of 86, in New York City, where he had lived for nearly 60 years.